coach Jared Bednar. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hey, Jared. Um, to start, just what can you say about your goaltender's performance tonight? I thought he was great, uh, especially in the you know, the power play at the end of the game, the big moment, and um, that was shootout. I, mean, I thought he was outstanding the way from the start, had a great start to the game. And, um, yeah, he basically carried that through the night. He was tough to beat. I thought their guy was pretty good, too. Go ahead. I see your hand again, Peter. Yeah, what did you, I guess, think about the amount of scoring chances you both gave up and created on your end? Well... I would have liked to have been better uh, defensively. I thought we did a really nice job in zone. Um, the bulk of their chances, why well, I know from my count, anyone anyway, looking at it, all six or seven of theirs in the first period came off the rush. We made some mistakes, turned the puck over. So um, they're a dangerous team and have some skill. And they came through the middle on us and created some chances. Um, and then we had a couple misreads off the rush too that they created chances on. Um, probably got better as the game went on um, for me, but it just looked to me like our team was, uh, they were the quicker team tonight. They were a little bit more competitive in uh, along the walls and came up with more pucks and, and they got to uh, one there. They got to the puck first and won more races than we did. Um, understandable with us, you know, at the end of the road trip and, and playing the back to back. Uh, but I thought our guys did a nice job of kind of grinding through it and um, staying in the game and then um, fighting back to get the tying goal and big penalty kill at the end and had a chance on the power play at the end. So things got interesting, but I thought our team did a nice job staying with it and finding a way to win the hockey game. We'll do one more here on Zoom, then we'll go to in-person. Go ahead, Peter. Yeah, um, I just wanted to ask about, so Eric Johnson, obviously a little dinged up. is. Is this kind of how you want to approach the rest of the season where if a guy is not 100%, you just might as well sit him rather than when yep. now that you have healthy bodies? I would say, um, yeah, every case is different. But we had Gerard coming back in healthy. It's a back-to-back. -back. Um, Eric's been dealing with some, you know, nagging stuff. And, you know, this was, a, you know, for me, it was a perfect opportunity to get him not just like one night off, but – we're uh, off tomorrow, practicing Monday, off again Tuesday, don't play till Wednesday night. Like this is a four day break for him, which I think, and he's the one guy, like he's played more hockey than anyone all uh, for us all year, right? He's played in every game. So um, I would like to have our whole entire group feeling as good and as rested and, and as healthy as they can going into the playoffs. And, uh, you know, so this for me was a good opportunity to get him some rest. Go ahead, Derek. Yeah. How much of a guilt of any is that you I mean, without that save, we don't win the hockey game. So uh, he made a couple of those tonight. Uh, but it, I mean, it, it certainly helps. I mean, you know that you can like kind of get up and get on the press to try and get your, um, you know, equalizer in this case. And you know, so our team's had a lot of confidence in, in Kemp's all year. Uh, again, I didn't like some of the, didn't love some of the scoring chances that we gave up tonight. Um, but we'll, we'll cure them and look at them and, and move on. But I mean, when you do have a breakdown, it's certainly nice to have, you know, Kemp's kicking the way he did tonight. You tied a franchise record tonight. Don't miss this. Um, they've been uh, consistent hardworking, um, you know, resilient and just, you know, for me, it's, it's the buy-in from our group and it's, uh, you know, they've, they've really approached, you know, most days with a real business-like attitude and focus on where we're trying to get to as a team. And, uh, they've been getting rewarded for it. And I'd also say, you know, like we've had our fair share of, um, you know, adversity, guys out of the lineup, even now with Kadri and Landeskog out and, you know, just getting some some guys like Gerard back, like they're big pieces to our team, but other players just find ways to step up. And, and you know, we've had to play it a little bit tighter with some of the scoring out and we've done that. And, um, you know, it's a, the guys are showing up and giving everything they got on a nightly basis. So I'm proud of them. All right, thanks.
All right, we'll take questions for Avalanche goaltender Darcy Kemper. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Darcy, what was, uh, I guess, the first thing that ran through your head when you when you blocked the last shot of the shootout and you realized you'd won? Uh, I don't know. I was confident whoever was going to shoot next for us was going to score, so that took uh, took the pressure off. So uh, always nice to, to end it with a save and um, obviously a great feeling getting the win. I see your hand again. Go ahead, Peter. Yeah, what was just for you, your mindset and, and kind of kind of what you saw during that rush of power play chances Edmonton got in the overtime period? Uh, yeah, I thought the Killers did a great job. Um, obviously, a pretty tough situation going against those four guys uh, in overtime on the on the kill. But uh, the Killers did a great job, uh, allowed me to be aggressive and, and read the shots. And, um, you know, I was just trying to play the same way and not change anything. Anything else on Zoom before we switch? Kate Shefty, the Gazette. Hey, that uh, that last move after the last shootout uh, guy came and you kind of put your stick back in like a like it was a sword. Was that uh, was that? Did this win mean a little something extra? Were you what? What was that? Uh, yeah, I don't know. That just kind of happened. I didn't really think about it at all. So, um, just an exciting win to get. Go ahead, Derek. Um, you guys are down one nothing. Made that same on just the end of this fourth quarter. Uh, yeah, it was just, uh, I think it was, um, Connor coming down. I was just trying to stay patient on him because he's got, uh, such a quick release. You don't want to get too far ahead of it in, in case he shoots it. And then, um, once he passed it, I was able to, to stretch out and make the save. In the overtime, they had 11 shots on the overtime. I guess what was that like to try to fend them off during the challenge? Yeah, just, um, you know, I was just trying to challenge and, and, you know, square up to the shooters and, the killers did a great job of uh, letting me see it and then clearing out all the rebounds. So uh, I thought we handled that really well. You guys tied a franchise record for most wins in the season. I guess what does that say about this group? And I know your ultimate goal is to win the Stanley Cup, but that's a pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. We know we got a special group in here, and um, it's been a you know obviously a really fun season getting that many wins. And um, like you said, our our ultimate goal is uh, still uh, ahead of us here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.